Hello beautiful Libras. Is it a flame or the real thing? Let's check it out and see what we have for love for Libras at this time. Let's look at this being flexible. So that's the overall energy. We're going to get two more energy cards from Wisdom of the Oracle. Whoops, the daisy, of course. Okay, observing. You're watching each other. Somebody's watching you. You're watching them. Oh, you're maintaining. You're being kind of cagey with each other. Oh, I like it. It looks like a very early flirtation. Okay, but there's chop wood. There's work to do. So it looks as though for most of you who are coming to the reading that you've been in this connection for a little while. So let's take a look and see what's going on in this relationship to see how serious it could be or whether it's a fling or the real thing, as we like to say. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the table shot because I know you love it. Let's see what we have here. So let's look at the energy of Libra and love. What is going on? The recent past. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. So I really feel like, you know, something's going on here with this... Um, Chopping wood. So something has to be done. I really like the angel. I like the angel wings. I like that the cage is being left open. So the options are being held open. So it really speaks when we see an angel that you're being uh, protected. Okay, the emperor card. So you might be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But the Emperor energy is all about the energy mutually, currently, that you'd both like to succeed at this relationship. Your person is as serious as you are. How they view the relationship or the situation currently is the hanged man. So that is the energy that says that they're looking at things from, you know, a different perspective, trying to th see things the way you view them, trying to be flexible, trying to be very observant, trying to sort of just clear up any miscommunication that's gone on between the two of you. The Page of Pentacles is how they view you, very practical, very down-to-earth, very hardworking, sweet, kind, honest, straightforward. So let's see, in their heart space, we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy, and the Page of Pentacles is Virgo energy. So what we have is your person in their heart space loves you. The Queen of Cups is having very deep feelings for someone. That is a deep card, a card of deep love. And let's see how they view the situation for the two of you going forward. This person feels as though they definitely need to um, be able to defend something that they've done, something that they've said. There has been some sort of miscommunication or misstep in the relationship with the Chopwood card. So your person is feeling as though they need to break out of the sort of timeout that you've given them. This is, we have two cards, almost like you've given this person a timeout. You've said, you know what, this doesn't work this way for me. You've been very kind about it. You've been very direct. And now they're a bit in a loss. This person doesn't know quite what actions to take, but we see them wanting to sort of break out of this prison of restraint that you, you sort of have them under house arrest, so to speak. Um, let's see, what is the hidden energy between the two of you? Ah, uh, some player energy. So, So what I'm seeing here is, you know, what I'm really feeling is that both of you came into this relationship with an open mind. Both of you came into this relationship with the energy that anything could happen. It could be a fling. It could be the real thing. You really hadn't made up your mind. But somebody came in here. We're going to clarify this with some, and you may have, it is mutual energy that neither one of you really took the relationship very seriously. The Seven of Swords says that both of you are sort of in this relationship to get what you want out of it, but without a lot of consideration uh, for the long term is what I'm getting. So there has been some sort of, I hate to call it dishonesty, but the Seven of Swords forces me to do that. The Seven of Swords energy is somebody who's just really out for themselves. 
The Six of Pentacles is your outcome card on the basic reading, which says that both of you would really like to work this out. You want a relationship in which you have equal give and take, and this very much is an energy of trying to chop wood, take care of things, have clarity. But let's go ahead and clarify the cards here. Let's see. We want to get the clarifiers here. So why do we have... The Eight of Swords energy. What's gone on in the recent past that's caused a problem? Six of Fire. So the Six of Fire is actually a very good card. It is Leo energy, but it's somebody who is a little bit it's attention seeking. So that's what I'm getting here. The reason there is a feeling about this relationship that your person needs to fix is that Libra, it looks like you feel as though they're seeking attention, from attention from anybody who will give them attention. You feel as though this person hasn't really been honest with you. You feel as though they're, you know, they're, they have in and out player energy. And though you weren't sure what you wanted when you came to the relationship, you certainly know that that's not what you want. Spirit is advising honesty where there's been dishonesty. And so it does look like that is what you have to clean up. The call of 20, okay. So the clarifier to the Emperor card is the call for judgment, okay? So it really is all about the current energy between the two of you. And it's mostly you, Libra, because Aries is your seventh house of, Roma, of love and permanent partnership, marriage type partnership. So right now you are being called on by spirit to make a decision whether this person really qualifies as a fling or the real thing in your viewpoint. The fortune's wheel is turning in their favor. This person, you know, you do feel as though they're a good person. You don't feel like they really came into the relationship to cause harm or to do harm. Um, you definitely feel with the four of fire, the two of you have spoken about potential long-term commitment. So it does show that your person knows that you are, although you're willing to have fun, you're not going to remain in this player energy or the ener energy of I want attention. You definitely are in this energy of wanting stability, of wanting a beautiful love relationship, and they do love you. The messenger of water is clarifying that they're going to tell you, they're going to open up with you about their feelings. They definitely know that they have to sort of break out of this, this self-imposed prison, the six of coins. They have to really give you something you can count on. Six of coins, six of pentacles, same card. So it really speaks to the fact that this person needs to clean up their image. Yep, messenger of air. They need to chop wood by cleaning up the image that they weren't really all in it to win it. What we're seeing here is that your person came in, they have some habits that aren't really helpful. Um, again, they like to be observed, and you know what, Libra, you've done a really nice job here. You've really put a limit, and you've really let them know that that's not going to fly with you. Let's see what this uh, Knight of Wands energy is. Eight of Air, yep, you're not having it. So what we see here is although you wanted to have fun, although you wanted the passion also, you also do not want to be played. The Eight of Swords is the Eight of Swords, so it means that you know, you're holding yourself back from this relationship. You're holding this person away from you, and it's because of the Seven of Swords energy. So let's see what else we have here. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here for you, Libra? Why is the Seven of Swords energy here? Ten of Earth. Okay. So this person appears to have exaggerated. If they were to have a profile online, they would have said, Oh, I want to be married, and I want to find my soulmate, and I'm flexible, and I'm open, and I want to be married. And that may have been an absolute straightforward lie. Okay. Seven of Swords indicates that that was not the truth and that this person was hanging out trying to project an image 
that wasn't real, that wasn't accurate. The four of earth, four of coins, your person really is holding on to you. You know, you like this person a lot. You care about them. They've fallen in love with you. I do not think that you have fallen in love with them. But this really tells me that now, where they had player energy earlier, now they really want to hold on to you. They really want to break out of this energy with you. So let's see what they're going to do. What, what will your person do? So we see their thoughts. We see their feelings. What actions will they take? Let's see what we have. The Hermit card. So your person is taking the time that you've given them. <laughs> Evidently, I think for many of you, what this is going to symbolize is the fact that you've told this person that you need time to think about what you want. You need time to consider uh, that, you know, feeling that they love you is not enough, that they have to prove themselves to you, king of air, that, you, they, that Libra, you are planning on giving this person a chance to redeem themselves. And if they don't redeem themselves, you will close out, you know, you're going to be successful in love. The cards say that your person knows you're going to be successful in love, and they can either be part of the solution or a part of, of the um, part of the solution or part of the problem. You know, the seven of earth, they are now invested in you. They're coming in with a higher level of investment. So the four of fire, the three of fire, they see you as their future. They really want to um, tell you that. The ace of air, they now have clarity about what they want. They absolutely know that they want this relationship. They want to be serious about it. They want to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I get them really coming in with the Knight of Swords energy to clarify what they truly want, why they went wonky, why it went sideways, and they're really hoping that you listen or that you're willing to listen. We have the Messenger of Fire. This person's very fired up. They want to absolutely convince you that you can trust them. They're throwing caution to the winds. They definitely want to be back in your good graces again. Okay. They definitely want to win you back. They want to win your trust. They know that they have a long road to travel, but your person does want this. The Queen of Earth. Okay, so they see you as this Capricorn Queen. You are not messing around. That if you don't have their attention in the proper way that shows the ability to nurture, to love deeply, to hold true to your, whatever your word is, that the Ten of Air, there we go, Ten of Swords that they will see that as simply something that they're not going to accept. The Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Water tells us that secretly behind the scenes, both of you really want this to work out. The Ten of Cups is happily ever after. You know, it's a beautiful card of marriage and relationship. So as oddly as you started this relationship, as much as you were both sort of not really intending to um, fall in love, I, Libra, I'm not necessarily seeing you in love as much as your partner, but what I do see is you thinking that they, you could really love this person, that they could be the one, that it's possible for them to be the one. So let's look. We see this Ace of Water. That is absolutely the Ace of Cups. Really, really, this person wants to tell you how much they love you. They're trying to convince you, but you're going to be hard to convince with this energy. I just feel as though you're going to say, yeah, 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 show me, you know, show me the goods. I'm not going to just take your word for it. Why is the four of earth here? That's a four of coins. It's holding, holding on to you or trying to hold on to you. The two of earth. So, Libra, what I'm getting is that this relationship is not what you want it to be. You're in this energy of, I still don't know, the two of water, two of cups. So while you think it's possible for this relationship to give you what you want, you're still in this energy of being undecided and you really truly think that this person may still be undecided also. Two of fire, yep, you're at a crossroads. The two of you need to make a decision. So let's look and see also, I want to look at messages from the Oracle card. So we have a relationship that started off as 
very casual, maybe some friends with benefits, a little bit of an activity, but it was discovered, Libra, by you that, you know, you the person was not honest with you, and you're pretty, you're pretty unhappy about it. So let's see what this message is. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. That was what brought you into this kind of player energy, but you certainly don't want to stay there, Libra. Let's see, can this person really love you in the way you need to be loved? Can they overcome the obstacle of having been somewhat dishonest? Time apart, yep, some time and distance will give you clarity, and that's exactly what I see. You've enforced this, Libra. You're the one who's in charge of this. Tell us what the call or the final judgment will be on this relationship. Is it a fling? Okay, self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on your own needs first. Okay, let's see what we have here for the Seven of Wands. This person is being very defensive. Trust. Is it safe to trust in this situation? Well, that is the core question right now, isn't it? So let's see what we have. What is the clarifier for the Ace of Air? Them telling the truth. They want a second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Let's see. Why are they willing to invest in this relationship now? Balance. Okay. So they do really realize, they definitely realize that they have to level up. They have to give as much as you do. Retreat is a card that says that, you know, they've, you put them, you've actually made them retreat is what I'm seeing. You basically set time apart. They do come in with an apology for you, but you're still undecided at the end of this reading. So it's interesting. Lean on your inner circle during this time. So as you try to clear this up, as you try to get more information, it really speaks to the fact that, you know, you, you just want to have support. I'm going to look at the Heart of the Fairy Oracle and see, Libra, what you're going to really come away. Tell us about this person. Why is it that they cause so much havoc when they truly fell in love with you? What went sideways with this person during the early part of the relationship when they didn't necessarily behave well? The gift, okay. So the gift that you've received in this situation is to learn this before you've made any kind of a commitment. The gift is all about the fact that though you're very, very um, attracted to this person, you got to see what they were really about in a very straightforward way. And what we're going is that it puts you in two minds of two minds, but that's better than hopping into a situation that is not going to serve you. Now, the maiden. So the maiden energy is all about being youthful, naive, um, wanting to make things right. So it does show a lot of promise with the card of the maiden for this relationship. But here we have, it looks like your person does love you, but I'm getting the feeling that you know, this heartless love is not the kind of love you're looking for. So this person doesn't seem to have what it takes I would have to say that this is more of a fling than the real thing, but let's take a look because for all, for some of you, you will work it out. For some of you, you definitely will work it out, but for others of you, you're just, it looks like you're going to keep moving. Uh, I get seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. So right now what we're seeing for you, Libra, I hope this is helpful, is that this person does not look like they're coming together. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and, and out of focus. So I would say at this time anyway that you're in this energy that says that this person does love you, but... It says love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So it does show that they do convince you that they love you. But I, what I'm seeing here is that you want the palm tree. Security, so, um, stability, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility, which is a repeat. And you want somebody with whom you can be happy. So you really do need to heal your heart 
um, and you're going to talk about uh, this with friends of yours. So I would say right now it's at a standstill, appropriately so, and I feel as though you need to be very, very cautious about this person. Stay in your power. Don't let them, you know, catch you with passion because they are not showing the kind of energy that I that you're looking for at this time Libra so I hope that was helpful please like subscribe share and comment if you like the video uh, thanks so much take care Libra bye bye